you know when you just haven't been feeling yourself for like ages so you get up one day you fake tan you do a winged eyeliner you get your hair all looking smooth and suddenly you feel like the baddest bee on the whole planet that's me today hello and now i feel back to my normal self i'm in such a good mood today because today's video drum roll please we're going to get back on billy for the first time since at least march it may even be longer i just can't hello focus today is the day i could have ridden him months ago like his hoof has been well on the mend for a while but with the ground being so hard because we had such a dry summer and I just didn't want to risk it so now his hoof has grown out quite a lot there's only probably a couple of inches of the old area where it was resectioned I feel like we're in a good enough state where I'm gonna take him out so he's not been sat on for months and months we're just gonna get on him and go like I'm so excited to ride him. Let's go and make an obligatory coffee before we go anywhere. Um, yeah, I just, can I put you anywhere? I'm really regretting my bangs, that was a bad choice. Obviously I love McAllister, Callie, Callie Alley. I love him so much and riding him is a pleasure. Even though last time I rode him we had a rotational fall, but more on that later. But Billy is just, something else like he's like my og he's my best buddy like we just get each other and there's a different it's a different relationship like with McAllister, i'm the more experienced of the two like i'm in charge i've got to teach him things and show him how it's done and really be that beacon of confidence for him billy billy knows he knows that i haven't got a clue what i'm doing and he is just he takes control he's in charge and it's just so nice, it's so nice to get on an older horse that knows what they're doing and can just give you, it's just so nice to get back on him and sit on a horse that has been there, done it, knows what he's doing. He can pretty much just sit there and hopefully he doesn't get too excited. He's just a pleasure and a joy to ride and I'm so excited to get back on. Ordinarily, I would be a little bit apprehensive about getting on a horse that hadn't been sat on since March, because how long is that now? What is this? March, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Let's say that's seven months that he hasn't done anything. He's not been ridden, he's not been lunged, nothing, zero. Whilst usually that would be cause for concern and consideration, no, we're just gonna go with it. I feel like I know him so well. He wouldn't do anything to harm me, even if he is a little bit excitable. It won't be anything nasty and he'll just be beautiful, wonderful. Anyway, let's go. Hello, baby. <laughs> you are such a grumpy man. Grumpy old man. Watch him break out of these now. Bound to happen. Just turn the hairs back up. You good boy. Look how that's looking. I think another couple of shoeings and we'll be well away. Just need to be careful it doesn't start cracking up, but so far so good. And that's the other one with the little baby cutout. Yes, we are looking good.
basically now you're back to being a ridden horse. I think it's high time we sort your mane out. So that's what we're gonna do. Allegedly. Or just um give it a little snip snip, if you will. Um where should we cut it to, Billy? Callie. Really do like you doing that, darling. Good strong start there. You can't see, but I've just butchered it. Good, good. I can never tell what angle I should be going at, so we just go. Callie, you're going to get me murdered. You carry on, my boy. Callie! Honestly, stop it! Can you see what Callie's doing? That's more interesting than what I'm doing, I'm sure. Callie! I saw that! Look, always makes me laugh. It never grows beyond that pitiful bit of hair. Callie, honey, not a good idea. Not bad at all, is it? Yes is the only acceptable answer. I won't take anything else. tell you I've had to give this tack a little wipe down because it was absolutely disgustingly dirty like mold was growing we had living organisms on the leather work which is not ideal um I might just can you I rode him might have been out hunting looking at my reins being on the bottom ring which would mean he's not been sat on since January early February which is slightly alarming I mean I could lunge him but a I don't think that he really needs the edge taking off like I feel like whatever he throws in my direction is gonna be nothing I've not seen from him before and also, I just don't want to keep turning him on a tight circle with his hoof in such a fragile state. I want to just, we want to be like an old lady doing water aerobics, like very gentle on our hooves. Do you know what I mean? Does that, it does make sense. So I think we'll put this up. Dare I go snaffle or is that just dancing with death? So basically, for those of you that don't know the whole backstory with Billy's hoof, why are you being fake and not watching my videos on it, first of all. Second of all, he had a hoof resection, so hoof surgery, back in June because he had a suspected keratoma, which then just turned out to be a very bad hoof abscess, which had just destroyed a lot of the hoof wall. So. That all had to be taken out and I had a month, I, we had a month or two of just pure agony trying to make sure that his hoof was constantly wrapped up and sterile and you know and I don't like to box rest my horses I don't even like to stable them if I can help it um so I was trying to do all of that whilst keeping him turned out which thank god paid off because he did heal very very quickly um, so that's the backstory. He's not been sat on since, as we've just discovered the last time he went hunting, which could well be January, February time. Um, but he's been well on the mend. I 
think he's been dying to do something. Like, he's a very intelligent horse and he doesn't like just being in the field, especially seeing McAllister going out and doing so many different things. It does great to him. Um, and I think he just needs it for his mental sanity. I mean, ideally, I'd have liked to have waited until his hoof was completely fixed and there was no sign of any history. But I just think, for who he is as a person, he needs this. So today we're just going to go on a gentle... Yes. Today we're just going to go on a gentle hack. I don't want to trot on the roads. I'm not against having a canter in like a soft field and the ground is all very soft because we've had so much rain in the past few days. Um, but yeah, I certainly won't be trotting on roads. At the most we'll have a little canter through a field, so... You know, just to get him off the yard to see different scenery because it must be so boring just staying in the same place for seven months. So that's what's going on. I'm going to get on. I need to find my dogs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, boys. All right, little wee stop. Well, it's been far too long since that has been my view. Don't mind my dog. Oh, let's stay on the grassy bit. on soft ground. This is all going very smoothly. I feel like I left the door wide open for him to be a little bit boisterous. Like I'm on a snaffle. I've got no martingale on. You know, I've taken him down tracks that we'd normally canter down and he's just been so polite and just happy to be out, which is lovely I've got my um scuzzy gloves back on today because the other ones are somewhere i don't know he's just dependable powerful kind knows when to give it a bit of attitude knows when to behave and i think you just can't buy that you cannot buy that i'm so lucky that i found this horse like it was just meant to destiny <laughs> i'm just so lucky to have found him um, all those years ago and um, yeah I'm very happy with my horses and my dogs and just everything is like tickety-boo at the moment you know I've been on my holly bobs I'm feeling good about myself today and I've got four lovely boys which is lovely um, since I went to Spain I've been speaking in a really northern accent like really like no and I don't know where it's come from and sometimes i just can't stop doing it and it's a bit inappropriate sometimes like on my flight home from spain i've literally been like talking like this the whole time and then i was sat next to two women who i think were from leeds or bolton or something and they genuinely spoke like that and i was like oh this is uncomfortable like i've been taking the mickey out of your accent for a solid week now and now i'm gonna have to try and not do it I was like, hello, yes, good morning, how are you? Have you had a good time away? You know, Queen's English, rather than being like, no, what you up to? What's going on? 
it's lovely lovely holidays you know i'm gonna stop like don't post that the question that we'd all like to know is are we feeling brave enough to have a little canter well to have a canter in an open field because i'd like it to be a little canter very relaxed and rhythmical but seeing as it's him it has potential to get out of control very quickly but do i wing it do we risk it for a chocolate biscuit we might we might i think we'll aim for a nice steady canter somewhere i don't know where Billy, <laughs> Billy, I'm not going to have much. Here we go. This is fine. <laughs> Steady. Oh dear. Steady. <laughs> Don't race the dog. Well, that went swimmingly well, actually. What a good boy. I mean, he was <laughs> very, very keen. Off we go again. He was very, very keen. Um, and he doesn't really, I don't think he's ever had breaks. You've just got to ask him and wait for him to say, oh, okay. But pulling doesn't really get you anywhere. It's more just sitting back and putting your leg on bizarrely. So that's kind of how we were stopping. I mean, there was no moment where I thought this is gonna be dangerous. I'm not gonna be able to stop. He felt very, very fast and very keen, um, but also very happy not to be a knobhead. Couldn't fault him. 10 out of 10. I'm one very happy lady. Like, to think back in June, I didn't think I'd be doing this before the end of September. So it's all gone so well. Can't complain. It's not a bad life, is it? Not a bad life. Look at all that hair, like. Having a grey horse is no jokes. No jokes. Oh look, my pots are out because I'm just planting some spring spring bulbs, autumn bulbs. I've done two already. Those three I need to put some bulbs in. So exciting gardening DIY. I could just sit here all day because he's so comfortable. He's literally like an armchair. This saddle is the most disgustingly uncomfortable hard misery but on him it's not even that bad it's like a really old steuben and they're not designed for comfort are they it's a long way stylish you good boy <laughs> oh baby so proud of you illy and millie <laughs> That's so silly. This horse, Billy boy. I think this is just pure. <laughs> Why do you always make me cry? I think it's, that was a horrible noise. I think it's just pure relief. And just thank God. <laughs> Thank God we've got to this stage, you annoying big lump. Like, I would do anything for this horse. I would give him my kidneys if that would benefit him in any way, but, oh God, like, he just means the absolute world to me. <sighs> I've not really given myself a chance to kind of actually get too deep. Like, I've not been able to deep it about what's been going on, but really, in hindsight, what a bloody horrible thing to go through. And like, this horse is no stranger to being injured. I mean, Billy's probably had more time off than he's had on at this point in his career. But 
each time he just comes back and he's such a pleasure and he's just so happy to be alive and he's just such a joy to be around even though he is grumpy quite a lot of the time but it's like a lovable grumpy you know like he's just a character the love of my life uh, welcome please subscribe otherwise I'll cry some more are my wings still looking good or have we cried them off enjoy my snotty crying um yeah god horses they really do get to us don't they classic 